In this House of Logic video, we're going to demonstrate a couple of ways in which you can configure the VLANs within Hyper-V on Windows 11. So to start off with, this is my Windows 11 host, and I'm going to quickly show you the IP addresses on this. So on our wired networking uh, device, we have an IP address of 192.168.5.127 and a gateway of 192.168.5.1. So if I can obviously ping my gateway from here, or I certainly should be able to. Okay, and that goes through successfully. Now, what we uh, what we also have um, within this environment uh, are some virtual machines. So we have um, the virtual machine over here, which is on the same uh, interface on our wired um, network switch. So I have a couple of network switches um, set up. So I have a bridged wireless one, and I have a bridged um, wired network. So the bridge wire network is using the Realtek uh, Ethernet adapter, um, and it's allowing the operating system to share that with the uh, with the, the network adapter itself on there. So that is the 127 address on the host. Uh, and as you've just seen, that can ping outward from there. Now, what we also find is that on that same network, on the 192.168.5 network, we have uh, this machine, which is also able to um, ping um, the same gateway. So if we just do that quickly. So those are both sitting on the same um, default network, the same um, uh, standard non-VLAN uh, access network that I, I, I run in my environment here. Um, so all that's fine and good. Um, over here, um, what I have is a virtual machine. If I show you the configuration, so on the Raspberry Pi desktop, this has been configured underneath the bridge network settings to use VLAN 90. Now VLAN 90, um, if you make no changes at this point, um, if you don't have any extra equipment and only have um, the single um, uh, network, you won't be able to, to actually access anything. Now what that's because of is because of the way that Hyper-V actually uh, on Windows 11 um, uh, interacts with the rest of the network. Now the way I can get away with this is because I have a, a switch that is, or rather a switch slash router device, um, which is VLAN enabled, which is this Microtech device here. So I have VLAN 90, which is defined as the web server network, even though I'm not using it for that. And that exists here with uh, the address of 90.1. So if I go over here, so using this, this additional device, I can then go and ping um, 90.1. So you can see I've been testing previously and that's all fine. And because it's hitting that router device, I can then actually also ping um, .5.1 because it's routing between the two on the Microtik. Now, you probably don't have that as an option, or if you do, um, I would certainly recommend it. Um, but what we will do on the Microtik now is we're gonna actually go and disable that VLAN interface. So when we do that, whoops, I didn't mean to delete it. I can re <laughs> restore it later. Um, what we'll do then is we will go in here and we will now try and ping 90.1. And as you can see straight away, it's failing. So um, what that indicates is that if you have the separate VLANs on Hyper-V, you are not necessarily going to be able to make them talk to the operating system and to anything else on the network. But to start off with what you need to do, if you go into PowerShell, what you're gonna to need to do, and you can't do this um, as far as I'm aware through the, um, the actual um, main interface on your Hyper-V um, server. So let me just find the correct network connections. Um, so you're gonna actually gonna to need to add some, um, some interfaces on here. So for me, I'm just going to cycle back through my commands here. So um, we're going to add a VM network adapter, and this has to be tied to the switch um, interface name that you're going to be using. So we're going to use the uh, the bridge network wired um, named um, uh, switch. And if you want to, you could do um, the, I think, get network switch or get net VM network adapter, and it will show you what you've already got. So if we do that, that will then add an interface here. And um, then what you need to be able to do in order for your operating system to actually talk to uh, to that, um, because otherwise it will simply exist as a as a, effectively a switch layer um, interface, is you need to set the VM network adapter VLAN, um, and you need to have these extra options on the end. Uh, the management OS is the key one because this um, sets it on the host uh, rather than being on any of the individual VMs. So if we do this. 
and then both of those commands have gone through without, without any errors so that's been successful and then what you can do is you can go in to the actual network uh, virtual adapter and then you can configure this um, for use on um, the correct subnet so that's our dot 90 subnet so we're going to go dot 90 dot 250 which is what i did in my testing a little while ago and we go with the 250 and we're going to go with we can put in the default gateway but it doesn't actually exist at this point so in fact um, let's, let's just take that out and we're not going to worry about dns so we can configure that wait for that to uh, decide whether it's identified or not or not we'll just carry on okay so now what we can do is if we actually go and do IP config again we should certainly expect to see the dot 90 address there we go on VLAN uh, 90 interface uh, okay cool <coughs> excuse me and um, so what then that will allow us to do if we go back to our virtual machine is then we can and we can do so successfully we can ping that and access that on the network now we can also uh, hopefully do the same thing from here going back the other way ping 192.168.90.91 is the address of that so those are now able to communicate which they can't do over network if it's on a separate VLAN without an interface so that's the purpose of this video Obviously, if you want to make this sort of machine on Hyper-V talk to something else on another network, it will need a network gateway to do so. You cannot have it hop between the two networks without something to route the packets. So if on here I try and uh, reach 192.168.5.1, this will fail. as you can see so our destination host unavailable and also I don't believe the 127 network which is on the host will uh, will work either because we don't have a default gateway established for that and the Hyper-V switches won't establish as uh, a actual routing uh, network you cannot route directly from them you need to use something else even if that's a software based router okay so that's about it for this video um, I hope this has been useful and been able to help someone um, it's worth noting, of course, that actually some of the behavior that you see here on Windows 11 is different on Windows Server. So it is, it is something that uh, you can actually go and add additional uh, interfaces and you can spin up, spin up additional switches and your your list of um, Hyper-V virtual switches can be um, can be very large. You can expand that out to um, individual um, uh, switches almost on a per VLAN basis if you want to do that. Um, but you can't as easily as far as I'm aware do that within Windows 11 obviously if you know otherwise um, please say so in the comments um, but yep that's about wraps it up for now so thanks very much for watching uh, please like and subscribe if that's your kind of thing otherwise we'll catch you next time bye now